Hey, what's going on everyone and welcome back to High Pixel Skyblock Hardcore. Except in the last episode we died, so it's not hardcore anymore. So instead of this series now being called High Pixel Skyblock Hardcore, we will be rebranding it to High Pixel Skyblock Hard Mode. <laughs> Which will basically be the same as the old series, except we're just not going to care about our slash death count anymore. Which, if you missed the now deleted last episode and are wondering why my death count currently says six instead of just one, it's because in that deleted episode, I actually ended up dying to the same thing again, and then I kind of just went crazy and just killed myself on purpose four times, which in retrospect was probably pretty stupid, but I was just like so frustrated at the time and was just trying to do whatever I possibly could to free myself from the pain of having a two death count. Anyways, I hope you guys are excited for the continuation of this profile and the rebranding as hard mode. I think it is going to be a super fun series for me personally, because now it's basically just gonna be a high pixel skyblock solo series on crack because we're still not gonna be able to use auction house or bazaar or trade players. So we're gonna have to be doing a lot of grinding for all of our items, just like we were before. Anyways though, first thing you can probably see on my scoreboard right now that the party time event is currently going on, which is to celebrate the one year anniversary of Skyblock. So if I head on over to the Simon NPC right here, I believe he should give me a crab hat. Now I do get a random color of it. I don't know all the colors it comes in. I'm hoping for a good one though. Okay, I got the lime crab hat of celebration. I don't know if all the crab hats are created equal or if some are preferred more than others, but I'm happy with this one. I don't know if this looks particularly like a crab hat to me, maybe from the side or something. I mean, it's got like the nice little cake on top there, but yeah, I don't know. This isn't giving me crab vibes. Maybe I'm just missing it because it's in the wrong color. I don't know. Oh, and it's actually not an accessory. It's a hat accessory. <laughs> it can still be reforged though. And if I show you guys my accessory bag, I only have one spot left in it. So this is the perfect thing to finally fill our max sized accessory bag. Since I already have 100% crit chance, I think I just want to get itchy on this and it's a common, so it shouldn't cost us too much money to get that. But you can see here, the item's ability is to give you plus one intelligence while on your head for each year you've been playing Skyblock and I'm getting plus 70 intelligence, which should be the max amount because I have played Skyblock since the very first day. Obviously not on this hardcore profile here, but if I go to my profile management, you can see this very first slot, which I seriously never play anymore, has an age of one year, which is pretty cool. Anyways, my next mission now is going to be continuing where we left off with our death. Because if you guys will remember, the reason I was originally trying to do those tier four tarantula brood fathers was because I wanted to hit spider slayer level six and craft myself a scorpion foil. Now, unfortunately, and pretty obviously, doing those tier fours didn't go so great for me. So I decided in order to get to spider slayer level six, I was just gonna do a bunch of tier three it was going to take me a lot longer because in total I still had to do like another 60 or 70 of them but on my stream yesterday I just cranked out a ton of them and if I can remember correctly I should only be about three away from leveling up I'm currently at 19,700 XP we only need to get to 20k to hit level six and each tier three broodfather gives us 100 XP so if I can just go ahead and take care of three tier three tarantula broodfathers uh, we will finally hit Spider Slayer level six and be able to craft our Scorpion foil. All right, and here is our final boss. Now, one thing I actually want to quickly show you guys in case you don't know and you're also trying to level up your Spider Slayer level is if you have Thunderlord on your main weapon like I do here, it actually will cancel out the Octo Dexterity ability on your armor set. So if you want to fix that, all you got to do is hit it once with a different weapon and now you'll see here I start getting the double damage hits like every fourth hit. So now I'm actually start hitting 40k every once in a while. Whereas before where I hadn't hit it with the ornate zombie sword yet, I was never getting the double damage hits from the octo dexterity bonus. And now I'm back in my islands. So let me go ahead and claim my spider slayer level six rewards. Boom, there we go. Plus 2% crit damage, scorpion foil recipe, fly catcher recipe, and actually a new thing here, medium slayer sack recipe. But now it is time for the big moment of crafting this thing. So we need to go ahead and get ourselves 24 tarantula silk and two stacks of enchanted acacia. So we got our two stacks of enchanted acacia already just sitting in my chest here. And I actually had my gravel minions uh, that were producing the enchanted flint for me up for way, way too long. So I think I only needed like 12 stacks of enchanted flint. And I'm pretty sure now you can see like up here and then I think over here as well, I have like 30 stacks of enchanted flint. So we definitely have enough of that. All right, so then I'll just start combining the enchanted flint with my tarantula web and crafting some tarantula silk. All right, and there we go, 24 tarantula silk. So we can go ahead and split these on each side and put in our enchanted acacia wood and boom, scorpion foil. Let's craft this baby. Oh, feels so good, man. And it only took us dying and almost actually ending the entire series in order to get our hands on this thing. 
God dang it. But now, we do need to get some other items before this weapon is really in like its ultimate form. Now, the first of those items that we're gonna need to get is actually another drop from Tarantula Broodfathers here, and that is this Bane 6 book right here. Now, the good news is that we can get this from Tier 3 Broodfathers, so we can just keep grinding those. We don't have to start doing Tier 4s to get it. The bad news is it's only a 1% drop rate, so it may take us quite some time to get it, but we are gonna need to get it because it'd be a waste to put like a Sharpness 5 or something on the Scorpion Foil instead of that Bane 6. And then the other item that is very important into maxing out this Scorpion Foil is the Wood Singularity, which this is also not going to be very easy to get our hands on because it requires five stacks of every type of enchanted wood as well as 1.4 million coins. Now, if I go ahead and open up my personal bank really quickly, you'll see we have pretty much only the exact amount of coins we need to afford that. So if we bought it right now, it's going to completely bankrupt us, but we can still afford it. The only thing I still need to get is those five stacks of each type of enchanted wood. I am a bit ahead of the game on that as well, though, and you can see I have some of each type of enchanted wood, um, but the only one I actually have five stacks of is the enchanted jungle wood. I'm still going to need to do oak, birch, acacia, dark oak, and spruce. So it's going to take me a while, but I am down for the grind. Anyways, the next thing I want to talk about here is in a recent update, Hypixel finally added the thing that people have been asking for for like 10 months at this point, probably honestly longer than people have been waiting for dungeons. And that is a personal compactor, which will automatically turn items in your inventory into their enchanted form. And they also added three versions of this personal compactor. So there's the 4,000, the 5,000, and the 6,000. And I think the higher versions just allow you to add more items into the filter to turn to their enchanted form at once. So naturally, since this is a super useful item, I want to go ahead and get my hands on one. But in order to do so, we need a super compactor 3000 as well as seven enchanted redstone blocks. Now, the good thing is a long, long time ago when I was working on getting super compactors for all my minions, I left my cobblestone minions up for way too long. And so I have more than enough cobble to make another super compactor. The only thing I was missing for this recipe was obviously the redstone. So as you can see here, I started to take care of that. Now the super compactor itself also requires an enchanted redstone block. So in total, just to get like the first version of the personal compactor, I'm going to need eight enchanted redstone blocks. But I think if I just turn what I already had in the chest, into enchanted redstone blocks yeah we already have the eight we need um let's see if maybe if i collect all these minions though if we can somehow get the next version up i don't think i have that much enchanted redstone sitting in these guys right now because it's only been like a day since i last collected but I guess you never know. Okay, so I have the Super Compactor 3000 I need now and 12 Enchanted Redstone Blocks. Definitely not gonna be enough for the 5000. This thing requires the Personal Compactor 4000 plus 14 Enchanted Redstone Blocks, but we can definitely craft the Personal Compactor 4000, which I think honestly for me right now should be good enough for my needs. And now that we have our hands on one of these things, I definitely wanna test it out. I think I'm gonna go ahead and test it on my pumpkin farm here because it should make that process so, so much easier. All right, and all I need to do to test this thing out is to put an Enchanted Pumpkin in in there and now this should automatically craft all the pumpkins that go in my inventory into enchanted and i think i need to actually take up everything except my farmer boots so that i'm not moving too fast but yeah look at that boys it's automatically turning into enchanted wow that is going to be so convenient this makes me actually want to start adding more layers to my pumpkin farm now because seriously one of the worst parts about farming pumpkins is that like every row or two of you finish farming you got to stop craft it all into enchanted then keep going again it, it, it wastes so much time Th this is actually insane man i mean this is something that we definitely all knew would be super super helpful to have on the server server but like this is even better than I thought it was going to be. This is so convenient. And this is just like one really good use of it. I I'm sure there's like a ton of other super convenient ways to use this thing. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and just finish farming this entire layer of pumpkins now since it's like so easy and fun to do. And I finished harvesting and made myself like a quick 90k. Very, very nice. And I am officially in love with this personal compactor. Anyways, in that very same update, they also added a new item called sacks into the server. And basically there's a sack for every single collection, I think. And depending on the size of sack, there is small, medium and large, it'll hold more of each item that fits into that category. So for the last part of this episode, we are going to go sack collecting and just get as many of these things as I can. Now for this first one here, we're going to go for the foraging sack. I believe I already have all the materials I need to craft it. It's basically just a bunch of enchanted birch wood, but for each sack, you also need one enchanted leather. So conveniently, I already have 12 enchanted leather just sitting in my chest here. So let me go ahead, just grab the birch wood I'm going to need for this. And there we go, small foraging sack. Then we will upgrade that to a medium and then upgrade that into a large and boom there we go we now have our maximum size foraging sack and i also forgot to mention in the clownfish collection there is a sack of sacks that you can upgrade which basically is a sack in your skyblock menu that you can put your other sacks into so very convenient so now if i'm not mistaken basically how this should work with my new foraging sack is instead of anything going into my inventory 
whenever I mine dark oak like this, it'll just go directly into that foraging sack until the sack is totally full. But with the large foraging sack, it can carry 20,000 of each item. So it's not gonna be filling up very often. And next up here, I wanna go for the combat sack, um, which I think just requires some enchanted rotten flesh, which obviously, as you've seen right here, I have a ton of enchanted rotten flesh saved up from when I was still going for the Reaper Falchion. So I should be able to get this thing with ease. Yes, and we still have a ton of rotten flesh left over. But there we go. We now have a large combat sack as well. Now the next one I have on my list here is a mining sack, which requires coal and holy crap. I think I just happened to have like a perfect amount of enchanted coal to craft this thing as well. I swear I originally was thinking I was gonna have to go do a bunch more work than I'm doing right now in order to get all these. But I guess so far I'm just getting super lucky. So there we go, medium mining sack. And yeah, there we go, large mining sack. Holy crap. All right, and the next one I wanna go here for is the fishing sack, which unfortunately there is no way I'm gonna be able to craft the large version because I haven't even unlocked the collection for it yet, but we can at least try and get this medium fishing sack here, which is gonna take enchanted puffer fish. We don't have too many of these, only 14, which this actually isn't even enough to craft the small one. We need 16 for the small fishing sack, but I should have just like some random stuff from fishing lying around in my chest here. Yep, there we go, the two enchanted puffer fish I needed. Because every time I go on a fishing trip, I just dump everything I get out into my top chest here, which in terms of organization is not a great idea, but hey, right now it's allowing us to find a lot more enchanted puffer fish, which is nice. All right, so we're not gonna have enough to craft a medium, but we do at least have enough to get the small fishing sack here, which is fine and we can always upgrade it in the future. Now, the next one I have on my list here is the small slayer sack. This one I'm not gonna be able to get. This is gonna require like four stacks of enchanted string. I only have like a stack and 14, so not even close to that at the moment. So we're just gonna skip over that one for now. But the final one I'm gonna go for is the agronomy sack, I think is how you say that, which requires wheat collection. Now, my wheat collection at the moment is very low. You can see I don't even have the recipe unlocked for the small version yet. But if I'm not mistaken, farming wheat and getting that collection up should be super, super easy. I think if I just do it for like 30 minutes, I should be able to get even the medium version of the sack. So I just grabbed my Harvesting 5 Telekinesis 1 and I'm just gonna farm wheat in the hubs for a little bit. All right, I like way underestimated how long that whole process is gonna take me. I think it took me like 40 minutes or whatever just to get these 16 enchanted hay bales, which is only gonna be enough for me to get the small agronomy sack. And if you look at my collection here, I got it all the way up to almost 37,000 here, whereas before I hadn't even unlocked the medium agronomy sack. So I was only at like 12K or something. So yeah, even getting this small one here was a process, but I wanted to get as many of these sacks as I could. So boom, we'll toss the small agronomy sack into our sack of sacks. But all in all, I feel like we still did a pretty good job today. I mean, we got three maxed out sacks, foraging, combat, and mining. But yeah, that is where I'm going to go ahead and end up today's episode. If you guys did enjoy it and have not done so already, make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, if you guys are in the market for a bad lion cape, you can pick up the one I am wearing right now with this beautiful hardcore heart on it down in the description below. And if you use that link, you will also save yourself a dollar and 20 cents in the cape, which is very pog. So yeah, check that out if you're interested. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video, hopefully very, very soon. See you guys then. Peace.